My name is Mike Ramsey. I'm Vice President of Sales Support for ARI. I've been with the company for 27 years and I'd like to welcome you and your team to our global headquarters in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. I think it's more in the in how a fleet's organized because the, the big picture areas where you're going to get the most savings. There, there's, there's small amounts of savings in we can save two to three percent a year on maintenance costs, that type of thing. The bigger picture is what types of vehicles that we put into place, do we have the right number of vehicles, is it the right vehicle for the job? So we see the bigger opportunities being in areas like that and then being able to manage the individual cost drivers in an effective manner. Companies will, will sometimes think that there's 10% of spend they can take out of fleet. And, and we would say that's going to be an awfully hard task to do unless there are major changes, which would be going down from a whole different class of vehicle down to a different class of vehicle. There isn't, to get 10%, we'd probably say you're going to have to park some vehicles or make a major change. There's going to be some incremental cost improvement in the areas of maintenance, fuel, licensing compliance and some of those areas, but not an, there's typically not going to be enough to, to move the needle in a 10% area on those areas. They have to be fundamental changes in the way they manage their fleet. So it could be the budgeting process, how they get uh, capital dollars allocated to replace, how do they evaluate capital dollars versus expense dollars. So how does that impact their, how does that impact their cash flow and their income and balance sheet? In other words, where we're seeing it is that the opportunity to, what impact does maintenance have beyond just the cost of maintenance? So what's the impact of downtime? There's tremendous opportunities in that in helping companies understand that they're just moving the money from one shell to the other. If they don't replace the vehicle, you're just moving that expense over to the expense side and, and, and substituting for the fact that you don't have the capital to replace vehicles. You're spending the money, you're just spending it in a different way. So to really impact that, then fundamental decisions have to be made by that company to be able to move the needle for big dollar savings. And that comes more in types of vehicles, schedule of replacement, what you put on them, right size in the fleet, all those other things. Because we see a lot of clients where they can't get the money to replace the vehicles. Their vehicles are down a lot, therefore they have 10% too many vehicles in their fleet. So it's kind of a never ending, never ending cycle. So the company has to be able to step back and look at those big picture items before diving into the, the incremental cost of having you know, maintenance and repair items.